Call me Usain Bolt. Do you guys want to kickstart your Foot22 team off with a bang? Head over right now to AOEAH.com to get yourself Foot22 coins and use the code NERD at the checkout for 3% off your order. Link will be in the top line of the description. Okay boys, so today we are back with a brand new video and as you can tell by the title, we are here for our first FIFA 22 challenge video. So today we're going to be building the fastest team in FIFA 22 and then also playing a game with it. Obviously we can't do it in Foot Champs at the moment because Foot Champs doesn't actually exist right now. So when it does, we can obviously do challenges in that game mode. But today is actually gonna be quite interesting because I think this FIFA is probably the first FIFA where pace isn't actually as key and like other stats are. So this is gonna be so interesting to see how this team actually plays. If you guys do enjoy this video though, smash the like button and let me know in the comments below the next team you wanna see me build. The most liked comment we will try and do for the next challenge so if you do see an idea you like in the comments below make sure you smash the like button on that as well so we can see the most popular one but make sure you do drop your ideas below in the comments so i can see what you guys want to see for the next one okay so the itinerary for today's video obviously kicking it off with building the actual team is obviously step number one we need to get the team built we might go ahead and do the three sub rule like we usually do for challenge videos so we have three subs on the bench as well and then basically after we built the team we're gonna play a game and hopefully try and win but i, I don't know how easy it's gonna be like i said pace this year isn't as key so if you guys do enjoy the video anyway smash the like button but that is enough of me talking Let's head over to FIFA and let's figure out the fastest team in FIFA 22. All right, so FIFA is now up. As you can see, a fresh new squad. What formation do we think we rock with though? I'm trying to think of a formation when we're gonna get the most amount of pace. And you know what? I'm vibing a free at the back just for the fact of getting four wingers because we all know wingers is where the pace is at. So the 3-4-3 three, three it is. All right, on to our very first player, obviously kicking it off with the goalkeeper, the quickest goalkeeper on the game and it is a man zentner at 65 speed obviously there's no pace stat to go off so we're gonna have to go by the speed stat of a keeper and zentner is joint top with i believe uh jordi Massip lopez at 65 speed so he is our goalkeeper on to the first center back of this team i'm sure you guys already know who it is mr saint just with 91 pace wow 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 the fastest like gold base card center back i think probably we've ever had on this game Ridiculous. Then onto his centre back partners. I actually thought we was going to get another Bundesliga playing here, but now I've actually checked Footbin, and there's actually a couple more people quicker than this guy. The first of the centre backs being Haliti, the Swedish centre back, 91 pace. He is the joint quickest centre back in this game. A bronze, 61 rated Swedish centre back with 91 pace. And then the third centre back, Magloya, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, an English centre back with 89 pace as well, 61 rated. Where have these guys even come from? I don't know. This is ridiculous. We've got two 90 one pace centre backs and an 89 pace centre back. If anyone's outpacing us here, then that is absolutely disgraceful. But there we go, defence and goalkeeper are sorted. Moving on now to our first winger of this team. We're going to go with our first right mid slash right wing player. I'm pretty sure you guys probably already know who the quickest right mid is, but if you didn't, it is the man Adama Traor with 96 pace. Oh, you gotta love Traor, haven't you? You gotta love him. So on to our first centre mid, an 89 pace silver card by the name of Moreno in the MLS. Argentinian silver, 89 pace centre mid. Damn, okay, MLS coming in with the pace today. I like it. And his partner in crime in these midfield roles. We've got Georgie. I'm not too sure if I pronounced that right, but my guy is also sitting on 89 pace. This team is not slowing down at all, like genuinely. It is just too quick at the moment. Sadly, because of the coins, we actually can't use the quickest left mid, which is kind of annoying, I can't lie. It's actually in for Vinicius Jr. But just one pace down, we have Mr. Achiampong. Once again, please excuse the pronunciations if they're completely wrong. At, but at a whopping 94 pace, only one pace off Vinicius Jr., he's still going to be quick as hell, let's be honest. And then back over to the right wing, another Premier League midfielder in the X-Man United player, Mr. Daniel James. Finally, we actually see a bit of chemistry in this team as well. We finally actually got a bit of chemistry link, which is nice with Trey Ray and James. But a whopping 95 pace. Get him in the team. And then back over to the left flank, we've got Mr. Nkudu with 94 pace as well. Now we'll just leave it one more position, which is our striker. And luckily enough, I have loads at this stage of the game. I can't lie. Because it is indeed the cover star, Mr. Kylian Mbappe with a whopping 97 pace. Oh my god. All right. Well, this team is genuinely incredibly quick. So I just worked out also the average pace for this team, excluding the goalkeeper, because obviously he's 65 speed and you don't really get 
the official sprint speed. This team right here has an average speed of 92 pace. That is just ridiculous. But the real question is how will this perform on the pitch? Because, you know, we've got a few bronze and silver cards in here, which might be a bit questionable, but don't knock them till you try them. Anyway, so that's the team built. So what I need to do now is go ahead and buy the rest of the players for this team. So when I've done that, I'll be back with you guys to show you the team in its flesh, and then we can get into a game and see what we can do. Okay, so I've bought the team. As you can see, here it is. We've got a bit of bronze, we got a bit of silver, and we got a bit of gold. It is time to put this team to a test. I, I think we might go to Div Rivals, or we, must, or we might just try and find a classic match, because I don't think we absolutely stand any chance in Div Rivals. So let me see if I can find an opponent in classic match. If not, we're going to put this team to the test in Division 6 and Division Rivals, which right now isn't easy. I can tell you that for free. So I'll see you guys when we find an opponent. I'll let you know if we're in classic or Div Rivals. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so we've managed to find an opponent in Classic Match. Let's see what team he's rocking. This is going to be interesting. I don't know what kind of player we're going to find here. Ah, uh, yeah, he's got a pretty good... I, I thought it'd be like a pretty basic team, but turns out he's actually a very solid team. All right, well, let's see what the fastest team could do. Let's just hope and pray the speed can carry us. Oh, my God. We've already been... Oh, no, he's just... Uh, oh, okay, okay, this guy's uh, this guy's one new up with that. Get, this, get, this, get the burners on, Dan James. Ah. Uh. Oh, what a save. The speed he used to get to that save, I'll tell you. Well played, McGloyer. Here we go. Mbappe. Mbappe's got a bit of space here. This is our chance. Put it across. Oh, my God. That was shocking. Absolutely shocking. Here we go, though. Got another chance here. We've got another chance. Let's make it count. Adama Traore on the ball. Into Mbappe. Out to Dan James. Dan James, can he do something here? Into Mbappe. Uh, go on, in the middle. Oh, I love that. Mbappe. Mbappe, put the burners on, lad. We've got burners everywhere, mate. We've got burners everywhere. The pace is beautiful. Oh, I don't even know who just scored. I think it was the Argentinian centre mid. I'm not fully sure. We'll find out in a sec. Oh, it was. It was Mr. Moreno. Come on, my son. Get in there. Oh, Moreno's got space. Into Mbappe. Mbappe, surely. Oh, my God. I completely forgot how ridiculous keepers are on this game. McLoya. What a ball. Even though he didn't mean to do that. Dan Penalty. Oh, that's disgusting, ref. You can't be done, mate. The players are too quick. You stick your leg out. We're getting penalties with this team all day. I don't think St. Just is our best penalty kick taker. I can't lie. So Mbappe is going on it. Can he score a goal for the boys? Come on. Down left. He saved it. Mbappe, though. Oh, yes. I'm not going to lie. I kind of thought he was going to miss there just because how good the keepers are this year. But we scored. So we're 2-1 up. The fastest team is winning. Uh-oh. Oh, we're a bit open. St. Just, though. What a challenge. The pace to get to the ball. Oh, here we go. The main man, Moreno. He picks out Mbappe. Mbappe with a chip. Thank the Lord we had a load of Mbappe in the club. I can't lie, because he is incredible. Three goals for Mbappe. Oh, poor defending. I've just conceded a stupid... That, that was awful for me. That was... not. Even, that, what is going on? Moreno is absolutely fuming right now. Foaming at the mouth. Come on, McGlaw. You, you're faster than Lukaku. I'll tell you that one for free. Uh-oh. No, no, not like that. Not, oh my God, what is going on? He's going to score. He's going to score. He's going to score. He scored. He actually scored. Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, there we go. It's half time. We absolutely bowled the 3-1 lead. We were 3-1 up in the 42nd minute and then he scored two goals to equalize just before half time. But you know what? Let's just see how the second half goes. Hopefully we can outrun him and score and win. Come on then. In the middle. And again, Mbappe, surely. Mbappe. Mbappe! Mbappe's literally got the heaviest bag on his shoulders right now, can't I? He's absolutely carrying. Oh, come on! A big kickoff goal again! He's... Oh, get in the bin! Oh, the fence is ripped open. Oh, my God. Oh, this guy can just score from anywhere with the keeper we've got. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. And Kudu, come on, put the burners on, lad. Bang, bang. Bang. Into Killian. Penalty! That's disgusting! Get him off, ref. Get him off. Oh, what have I done there? I've, I've, I've bottled this chat. Oh, no. Didn't bottle. 5-5. Five, five. We're back in it. Killian. Killian, please. Oh, my God. Mbappe. Oh, what a save. The rebound. George. We love you, George. Get in there, my son. Oh, come on. Here we go. Hinkudu. What can he do? We've got the main man Mbappe in the middle. Oh, that's a ball. Oh, how have I not scored there? It's green time, dear. Oh, thought that was going in. I can't lie. I thought that was just creeping in. Oh, no. Surely not. Not in the final minute. 
He's missed it. He's missed it. He bottled it at the end and we won. He literally had that one-on-one -on -one and missed it. Well, there we go then. We actually won the game with the fastest team in FIFA 22. And I can tell you now, after playing that game, that pace doesn't matter nowhere near as much as what it used to. Which is actually kind of nice for once. But here's a few of the match facts in case you guys wanted to see the expected goals, the possession, etc. You guys can pause it and take a look what happened in the game. Obviously, we were blessed that Mbappe had to be the quickest striker and that we had a load of him, realistically. Because if we didn't, I think we probably would have been absolutely smashed there and probably not scored many goals, if any, at all. But anyways, that wraps up the first challenge video of FIFA 22. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like I said earlier, smash the like button and let me know in the comments below the future challenge you guys would like to see. But but yeah guys anyways thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and i hope to see you guys next time goodbye